Another product, real estate investment trust. Probably going to see these referred to as REITs. REITs uh, give an investor an undivided interest in real estate. Now, what are the different types of REITs? We could have an equity REIT. Now, this is a REIT that is investing in uh, property. We could have a mortgage REIT. This is a REIT investing in mortgages and loans. Or we could have a hybrid, a REIT who has some of their money invested in properties, some of their money invested in mortgages. Now, a real estate investment trust, a REIT, is not an investment company. It is not an opened-end company. It is not a closed-end company. If receiving 75% or more of income from real estate, subchapter M of the Internal Revenue Code, the IRC requires at least 90% of net investment income be distributed to avoid taxation of money distributed. So if the real estate investment trust distributes at least 90% of the uh, trust net investment income, the monies distributed would be taxed to the investors, taxed to the shareholders, not the REIT, not the uh, trust. REITs could be public or they could be private. Now, a REIT that is public would have to be registered. And anything registered offers investors more protection. A REIT could be listed on an exchange or could be a non-listed REIT, which would trade over the counter, an OTC REIT. OTC REITs would be less liquid than a listed REIT. An OTC REIT may be harder to sell than a listed REIT. Gains and in income pass through to investors. However, losses and deductions do not. Losses of the trust, business deductions stay with the trust. They do not pass through to the investors. The only thing passing through to investor are gains and in income. Losses and deductions do not pass through to the investor. They stay with the REIT. A REIT is not a DPP. Not a DPP. Remember, DPP, if an investor has money in a direct participation program, gains, income, losses, deductions, all of that passes through to the investor. With a REIT, only gains and income pass through. This is not a DPP.